Hey there! So I'm gonna recreate this uh, letter M in a rhombus and also have a letter V. So yeah, let's do this. Um, you should be on a stroke. I'm gonna go with uh, do it with a stroke. If you're not on a stroke and you're on a fill, usually it's on a fill, uh, then just click none and select the stroke and just fill it with some colors. I'm gonna fill it with black and select the, from here, the rectangle tool. Press shift plus alt and create your first square. And now press and hold shift, rotate it once. I'm gonna go to the stroke here and increase the size of the stroke. Somewhere around 18. You know, the width actually is gonna be 17 because it's like, I think it's better this way. Anyways, uh, yeah, I need to make a new rhombus. I'm gonna press and hold uh, Alt plus Shift and do something like this. So, um, I'm thinking that the, the letter V should go somewhere around this zone. And sub under the V, I still need to manage to put in the, the M letter somewhere around here. The M letter should go here. Yeah. So this is a little bit more complicated to explain, but where these guys intersect, I need to create a vertical line. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna select the pen tool. You can select it here. And I'm just gonna go here and find the point which basically they intersect where they create this X. And go out somewhere around here. And also increase this. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna press O or you can go to here, select the reflection tool. Okay, press and hold Alt and just click here at this anchor point. Select vertical and press copy. And now you can see the letter M. I'm actually going to decrease the size of the bottom. Thinking to be somewhere around here. Let me increase the size to um, yeah, 19 is like even better. Okay, I'm going to do a test with this. Um, but let me see. Um, actually, I'm going to create a new copy. As you can see, these are the grids. I'm going to create a new copy, press and hold Alt, then Shift, create a new copy. I'm going to expand these. Go to Object, Expand and click OK. I need to see how basically the letter V's uh, edgy part, the top part, how where basically it goes. I want uh, the edgy part to be inside the rhombus. As you can see, it goes outside of the rhombus, this edge. So I need to make this in a way. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna bring these two V's down. So around this area and now if I select all of these three, as you can see, the edgy part of the M is inside of the rhombus. It doesn't go out anymore. I'm gonna, yeah, something like that. Okay, what else do we need to do here? I'm just gonna select, actually, I'm gonna create a new copy because I might uh, do a mistake here. What I'm going to do is select these without this rhombus. Okay. I'm going to delete these areas. I'm going to delete this interior also. So as you can see now, you can see basically the letter V and the letter M already coming, popping out. All right. Now I'm going to need to cut this out, this, uh, bottom V. I'm gonna make uh, this uh, kind of thickness here. 
something around here. I'm going to create a new shape, of course, with the rectangle tool right here. I think this is a little bit too thick. Should go something like this. Ah, uh, no. This is good. I'm gonna press it, then press O, the reflect tool, and then press and hold Alt, click here at the, this anchor point, and press copy. Select them all, Shift plus M, or the shape builder tool, in other words. Shift plus Alt, and I'm ju just going to cut out these areas with Shift plus Alt, you know, because it's a minus. Of course, I need to cut out this also. Okay. What else? Uh, yeah, I need to know the size, like how wide was this, because I still need to cut out this area also. This goes here. And I'm just going to copy this interior's width. I'm going to recreate it with pen tool and I'm just going to bring it somewhere around here. Eyeball it. Nothing serious at the moment. And I'm just going to recreate it imperfectly. I'm going to press O. Do another reflection, select them all, Shift plus M, and I'm going to cut out these also. Okay, it basically starts to come together. Let me see what else can I remove. On group. Okay, basically I ungroup these. I'm gonna delete the unnecessarily. I'm gonna put this to the bottom. Let me um, release clipping path. There's like a lot of vectors going on after you cut with uh, what is that? With the shape builder tool, it leaves a lot of unnecessary shapes and unnecessarily. Um, anchor points so basically you need to take care of those clean it up and uh, yeah I'm gonna create a new copy I'm going to unite with the pathfinder here if you don't have the pathfinder you can go to view oh sorry to windows and select pathfinder right here thinking to incre increase the stroke I mean the thickness of the whole monogram somewhere around this and eventually decrease the you know I mean increase the sizing also between the you know to be this kind of size but yeah right now this is good this is enough and yeah you can make it like even rounded you can select the letter A it's right here, the direct selection tool, select these anchor points. Also press shift, press and hold shift so you can select only these anchor points. And just uh, select the circle and just pull it down a little, a little more. Let me, let me check it like when it's like this circular. I'm also going to do it with the interior edges. I'm going to press and hold shift and select the anchor points I want to adjust and just pull it inside like this this is how it looks like more rounded hmm. interesting so yeah basically this was this was it uh thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye